So today I have a review for you all. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mary Kay Cream to Powder Foundation for you all. And I never really told you guys back in March when I hauled this if I liked it or if I did it. And I had planned on doing a review on it and things just kind of got crazy. So now I'm here to tell you if I liked it or if I hated it. So let's start out with the packaging. The packaging is a little bit strange. It comes in a plastic container and it has... It's black all through here, and then it has like a little see-through thing, so you can see the shade that the foundation is in. This is in the shade Ivory, and then it has gray writing and white writing on it. Um, then you open it, and it's, it's really strange. So you open it, and it's a really thin plastic. It's not really a thick, hard-duty plastic. It's very thin, so it feels very slim, flimsy. And then you take it out of the plastic thing if you want to, and then it comes in like this metal pan, like the pan comes out of the packaging. Now, Mary Kay does sell this little thing that you can buy for a few extra dollars onto your purchase where you can make like a palette, a to-go palette, and this is why they have their packaging where, you know, the metal pans come out of the plastic thing. So you can actually put this foundation in the little to-go palette if you wanted to. Um, personally though, I would not recommend this foundation. I feel really bad saying that. This is $20, I believe. I paid $20 for this. It's very cakey and it doesn't blend out very well at all. It's very hard to blend, like, I've tried everything, a sponge, a brush, I even just tried using my fingers and nothing. It looks very unnatural. It's very, it's a very weird consistency because it is creamy, but then after a while, you know, as you're blending it out, it starts to dry. So, you really can't blend it out quick enough before it you know, dries to the powder finish. It's just a very, very strange consistency. I would not recommend this foundation to anyone. Very cakey, very unnatural looking, and it just looks terrible. Not only that, I believe that this is probably the wrong shade for me. Um, it is a little bit lighter than what I remember ordering, so that was another big drawback for me. All in all, though, this is not a very good foundation. I believe that you could go buy something else that's a lot more affordable and easy to get because not everybody can find a Mary Kay consultant near them. So I would, I just would not recommend this foundation for anybody. So that's just the bottom line. That's all I'm going to say about it. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Hannah, and I do a ton of beauty videos on here. I do reviews, hauls, tutorials, you name it, and I would love it if you would click that red subscribe button down below and be a part of the squad. So I will talk to you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.